If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this video, we are going to see the math behind the resilience score calculation in Litmus Chaos. Whenever you create an experiment, basically you will assign some score. Score in this context is some kind of an importance you will assign for your experiment. Litmus Chaos follows a traffic light pattern score. From 0 to 3, it will be in red color. And from 4 to 6, it will be in orange or yellow color. And from 7 to 10, it will be in green color. So based on this, you will assign some importance for each of your experiment. And then Litmus Chaos will carry forward the math for you after the test is completed. In this example, we have three experiment, pod delete, CPU node hog and network corrupt. Each of these experiment has a score of 3, 6 and 10. Based on the probe, pass or fail status, the success factor will be assigned for each of this experiment. We will deep dive into the probe in next video. But as of now, just understand it is like a checkpoint for your experiment. So if all the probes are successful, then it will be 100% or if it is 50%, it will be 50% or if it is everything is failing, then it will be 0%. Each of the score will be multiplied by the success percentage. So in this case, it will be like 300 here because 3 multiplied by 100. And again, for the CPU node dog, we have 600 and for the network, we have 0. Then the total is 900. This 900 will be divided by the sum of all the scores. At the end, you will get 47.3 percentage. So this is the overall resilience score for your three experiments. So this is the official formula. The total resilience for one single experiment equals weight given to that experiment, probe success percentage. And overall resilience score is total divided by some of the assigned weights to the experiment. So now as we see the theoretical part, let us jump into a demo and understand how the resilience score is getting calculated. So in this example, I have one deployment running Nginx. It's a simple uh, Nginx deployment uh, where I am running uh, three pods and with the load balanced URL. So this is the main URL. We are going to hit 8080 so that it will display this welcome to Nginx. And in the chaos center, we are going to design a workflow with three experiments. First, let us uh, go to the chaos workflow wizard and select the business as usual options and click on next. And here in the add a new experiment, first experiment is delete. So here we are going to delete the pod. Let me just click on this pen icon and keep adding the, the context here. So they define the steady state. So this is the probe uh, I was talking about. We are going to deep dive into this probe, but as of now, let me add a quick probe here. Let us say a delete probe. And then I'm going to set some timeouts, retry and interval. And then the URL is uh, the Nginx URL. And then we are going to uh, set the criteria as get request, which should return the response code 200. And then rest I'm going to keep everything uh, as a default. And then I'm going to uh, select the pod affected percentages 100%. Basically all the three will be deleted. So once the three pods deleted, immediately it will get recreated because of the resilience nature of the Kubernetes. Now let me click on finish. Similarly, I'm going to add another experiment. In this uh, experiment, let us add the uh, CPU uh, node hog. So this will increase the CPU percentage utilization across all the nodes. So again, I'm not going to define any props. So I'm going to click on next. And here I'm going to mention the core and affected percentage as 100%. And then target nodes, I'm going to keep everything. And click on finish. Again, this is the uh, very critical experiment, network loss. So network loss, it's very critical for my experiment. And here I'm going to configure some more uh, properties in the prob section. So here I am going to configure the uh, network loss prob 
and timeout is one, retry is one, interval is one, and then I'm going to enter the URL, and then I'm going to set the response timeout, I'm going to set as say five milliseconds. So ideally this should fail. Let us see once the execution is done, and then I'm going to set the criteria as get call 200. And then I'm going to click on add probe. So we are done with the all uh, the experiment. So now let us go to the next screen. So here we are going to assign some points for each of this experiment. So in this context, I am not going to spend most of my score on the uh, pod delete. So I'm going to keep it as three. And for the CPU hog, I'm going to keep it as six. And for the network loss, it is very much important. So I'm giving very high importance with 10 points. So you can keep all the 10 or all uh, zero. So it is up to you. But just to demonstrate uh, the mix and uh, match of all the, the scores, I'm going to uh, distribute the points uh, 3, 6, and 10. So now I'll click on next, schedule now next, and I'll click on finish. So now if I go to my lens IDE, as you see, it has already started. The first experiment is pod delete. So after a few moment, we will see some delete in the pods and it will get recreated. So if I go to my default uh, namespace, here you can see the Nginx pods are running. So this will get recreated. So let us wait for a few moment and then let us analyze what's going on in the experiment. Now, as you see, the pod delete is done. It is uh, creating the new pod and then it is just uh, spinned up all the pods immediately. So right now, uh, the resilience nature has been uh, proven at this point of experiment. But again, we have to wait for all the experiments to be completed to get the overall resilience score. Now the pod delete experiment is completed. Now it is kicking off the uh, CPU hog experiment. Now if you go inside the uh, CPU hog uh, pod logs, you can see the log information about the uh, CPU hog. And let me go to the uh, one of the node here and I'm going to uh, inside the uh, shell of the node. And if you type top, here you can see the CPU is 100%. So basically our experiment is already started and it is hogging the CPU. So this is how you can validate whether your experiment is actually doing or not by logging into the node and using the top command to see the CPU memory utilization. Okay, now the CPU hog experiment is done. Now it is executing the pod network loss. So now let us go inside the pod log and then we can actually see the uh, prob information, whether it is uh, passing or failing. Let us wait for a few more moments and then let us observe this log. As you see here, network loss prob has been failed. So because the network loss, the URL endpoint is not able to reach, even though if it is reaching, it will not meet the response time uh, threshold. So our network loss prob has been failed. So this will reflect in our experiment. Now let us go to the uh, chaos center and let us wait uh, for this experiment uh, to be completed. So now as you see, uh, it is failed. Now let us go inside this experiment and then let us see what's going on. So the pod delete experiment is passed. All the probes are successfully done. A node CPU doesn't have probe. So if, you, if it has a probe, it will consider, otherwise it will be either zero or 100%. And pod network loss, definitely it is failed. So now, now let us go inside the uh, table view and see uh, some properties, anything uh, is uh, available for us to review. So what we can do is let us uh, go back and let us uh, click on this three button and uh, click on uh, so the statistics. And if you click on this uh, so statistics, you can see 47.36 percentage is our resilience score. So what does it mean is the pod delete is resilient, but network loss based on the uh, probe settings, it is failing. So the high importance given to the network loss 10 points, but it has resulted in zero points because all the probe has been failed. And node CPU hog doesn't have any probe, so it is either zero or 100 percentage. And pod delete, everything is passed. So this is how you calculate your resilience score based on your experiment. So you have to just uh, think mathematically, scientifically, and uh, artistically so that you will create some kind of a very uh, robust uh, experiment to measure your resilience of your application. So that's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. 
have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel